G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines with Sean Savage from Streaker Marine. And Sean, we are using both a boat and a motor today that are about a year old, been a, a year on the market, the, the 1.8 litre Yamaha 90 horsepower and the Apex Hulled Quintrexes. And the Apex Hulled Quintrex is really interesting for me because for me, it's the best hull that Quintrex has ever made. It cuts through the water, it's stable, there's a lot of room inside. How have your customers been finding this outfit? Yeah, so you're right, the, the boat and the motor were both released at the Melbourne Boat Show in June last year and uh, the response was actually far more than we ex actually expected it to be. It's uh, Normally with the new products it does take a little bit of time for people to get their, their, hand, their head around it a little bit and then they sort of warm up to it. But uh, from June last year to now it's our number one selling stuff. The Apex hulls are just brilliant. Uh, Companies like Yamaha and, and Quintrex, they, they don't go backwards with, with, you know, as time goes on, their technology gets better and better and they're, they're, they're very inventive businesses. So the new Yamaha filled a gap that we had with our outboard range from the 80 to the 100, which was sort of older technology that was past its use by date. And now with the new 75 and 90, it's just filled a massive hole for us and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, Quintrex with this new Apex, they've, they've generated more room in the boat. They've, uh, they've made the hull quality of as far as the ride quality of it is unbelievable the thing i love about the boat and especially for for new boat buyers is it's so easy to drive the boat itself you just basically plug and play there's really not a lot you don't have to find sweet spots or anything like that you can really get in it and uh be straight away you know feel quite comfortable in the boat so it's it's a, it's an awesome package yeah and for me as a fisherman i, I really appreciate that beam and the, the depth in the beam being carried all the way forward it gives yeah. you a, a mountain of storage space underneath it gives you that stability that you want and it also gives you a bit of freeboard so for me this was always a, a boat that was an inshore boat you could take offshore for me now it's an inshore boat you can really comfortably take offshore and in you know even 10 or 15 knots it'll handle it yeah that's right the the cubic space inside the boat the footprint that actually has in the water especially at rest because that pickle fork sort of carries its beam all the way forward it really lays in the water and it doesn't draft much you can get in really close but the stability is like nothing I've ever ever seen before it's amazing um, the the internal depths also awesome for me especially with a couple of young kids you can put the kids in the front casting platform wherever, wherever they are on the boat and they actually are quite safe it's not like the further forward they go the shallower it gets and it's a little bit sketchy it really ticks all the boxes that I, I can find for the purpose of the actual boat. It's brilliant. Um, this boat's supplied on one of the uh, Quintrex aluminium uh, I-beam trailers, and I've seen they, them bend those up up at the factory there. It's pretty impressive how they get the straight beam of, of aluminium, they turn it into exactly the right angles, and then put it with all the fittings to make it both a good-looking and a functional trailer. Now, this is a, a single-axle trailer. Combine it with that sub-two-metre height in this boat, it's a boat that people can quite easily get into a garage, isn't it? That's right. It, it's, it's got the capability to be towed behind anything with the tow bar basically it's it's just over 1100 kilo as a complete package um, under two meters which is most garage heights single axle trail it's super easy to use and the maneuver as well so if you do have a tight driveway you can unhook it from the car and push it in and do whatever you need to do um, the trailer itself also has that trailer catch and release system yep. uh, I've used them all and without being biased I actually think it's the, the, the best one on the market it's absolutely brilliant it's got a big margin for error it's very very easy to use and uh, once you've used it once you, you don't yep. know what you did without it no, that's right I'm pretty sure you'll never have anyone get a catch and release system on one trailer but not on the next because it lets you launch that boat one up and uh, and if you want to go fishing by yourself it's not an impediment that's right it's, it changes uh, things like that have changed our, our boating I find over the last sort of five ten years four-stroke motors, anchor winches, better sounders, better catch and release systems. Makes that boating a lot easier. It makes you, as you said, your solo boating really good. But it also gets that next generation of boaties coming through. They don't have to worry about the things we had to worry about when we learn about boats with pre-mixing and choking yep. and all the funny yep. trailers and all that sort of stuff. Boating's so much easier. So as far as family friendly goes, you can get the family in this. There's, it's easy boating, normal unleaded fuel, awesome trailers, unbelievable boat. Kids are safe. Everything's just awesome. Yep. Well, uh, packages for this boat started under $50,000. Um, it's an absolute glamour day here on uh, Port Phillip Bay. We're going to put this uh, front here in the water and we're going to come back to you with some performance statistics.
So there you go. What a cracking day that was out on Port Phillip Bay in this 5.30 Quintrex uh, frontier on that Apex hull. Look, I'm a big fan of the Apex hulls. When they originally released them, they said, look, this is the latest and greatest. They've said that before with some of their previous models, but this was a, a significant step up from the top ender that this hull replaced. So uh, it's only got a 90 horsepower Yamaha on this. This is rated to 130 horsepower, but the 90, I tell you what, it was ample for this hull. Some of the performance statistics we got, and we didn't have fuel metering on this boat but at uh, 5600 rpm this would go 57 kilometers an hour the yamaha's performance bulletin for the 510 frontier a slightly smaller hull with that same outboard gave it 3.28 uh, kilometers per litre so you can assume uh, an economy on this boat of well over three three kilometers per liter of fuel burned um, which will give you great range um, things I loved about this boat of course is that apex hull ride it's a, it's a great ride and of course these massive deep sides give it some great space under the floor now they've used that pretty smart um, putting big live wheel on there battery storage um, they've used the underfloor space very efficiently but those high sides also have the uh, the safety aspect if you're taking your family out on the water um, so I love I love the good performance with the uh, with that motor, which is 40 horsepower under the maximum. Um, it shows how well designed this hull is and how well and at how low split speed it planes. Um, what I didn't like on it, I'm not a fan of the big um, the side mounted uh, rod locker. Uh, any rod locker with a door which hinge, which folds up is going to come down, and at some stage it's going to come down on one of your rods. So probably a great place to store rods while you're travelling, but not a good place out on the water to pull your rods in and out. Um, and also, like all Tellwater boats, I'm not a massive fan of having carpeted decks under carpeted decks uh, uh, when it rains the rain drips through it stays wet for a long time you've got to make sure all of your expensive fishing gear is uh, is packed into a watertight container underneath but apart from this I think the uh, this frontier it's a massive improvement on the previous Quintrex top ender performs great with this Yamaha motor and this package together from Streaker Marine it's a real winner this package comes in at 55,390 as tested but you can uh, get packages from uh, under 50,000 uh, so for more information go to Streaker Marine's website that you've got under here um, or go to Streaker Marine's Facebook page where you can like it and you can get uh, constant updates from the stock models that these guys have in, uh, in stock. But uh, this is Steve Morgan checking out from a great day on Port Phillip Bay.